across the UK. Phil Mackey, BBC News, on the border between England and Wales. Well, as we mentioned, Greater Manchester moved into England's highest level of coronavirus restrictions at midnight. Many pubs and bars are now closed, while household mixing is limited to parks and other large open spaces. Dan Johnson reports. We are closing our doors at 10 o'clock. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for supporting Bar Pop. Another round of restrictions, a further tightening of the rules, means life here is now that little bit tougher. And what happens next is a major question mark. Why we're here tonight, I think, is to support our local scene, uh, because we're concerned that some of them might not open again. We'll have to see how things turn out. I'm not sure that these changes will make a big difference, but we'll wait and see. Closing time. And nobody knows for how long. We really don't know whether we'll be able to open up or whether staff will have the jobs when we come back to it. They say it will be in December, but we'll see. Manchester has a huge, vibrant, independent hospitality scene, and I believe this, this could kill us. After a bitter row about money to support staff, people across Greater Manchester woke to the reality of Tier 3 restrictions that have been imposed by the government. This is a shutdown of people's workplaces, their businesses and perhaps the focus of their social lives. And it's getting more difficult to see your family and friends. But life is carrying on here. The shops are open, though it's really quiet this morning. And the reality is, for lots of people, they've been living like this now for months anyway. And the high-level alert zone will creep further east into South Yorkshire tomorrow, affecting more communities and livelihoods. I think there needs to be greater recognition that businesses here are already on their knees, uh, they're lean, they've spent the bounce back loans. This virus isn't going anywhere. We have to find a way of having a functioning economy and keeping people safe and not one or the other. And concerns extend across the north with a sense that the drive behind the northern powerhouse is evolving as the pandemic unfolds. For much of the past few years, it's been about northern transport and now it's gone into much more important issues than that over education, skills, livelihoods, and in this case, uh, everybody's health during the pandemic, and the government has got to be a lot more thoughtful. These measures are in place for at least a month, but there's chance they'll last much longer. Nottinghamshire and the North East are likely to face this in the days ahead, and there's a prospect even tighter rules could follow. Dan Johnson, BBC News in Manchester.